KCBS. Since Elon Musk became the self-described chief twit, KCBS has been keeping up with changes at the San Francisco-based company, including all the talk about finding an alternative to the popular site. Here's KCBS's Jim Taylor. There's been a lot of social media buzz about leaving Twitter in response to the Elon Musk takeover. At the moment, there's nothing that does quite what it is that Twitter does, especially for journalists and for politicians. Joshua Tucker, New York University co-director, NYU Center for Social Media and Politics. So my guess is we're going to see quite a lot of discussion of potentially leaving Twitter, but at the end of the day, the people who stayed on Twitter are going to find that what they want is likely what's on Twitter, and these other alternatives are not going to be able to satisfy that need. One proposed change that's being floated in the company, charging a fee for those verification marks for bona fide Twitter users. Once you make that for sale, you undercut the original reason behind it, which was to try to provide some information to users of Twitter about the authoritativeness of their source. Biggest change so far, leadership kicked out, no replacements yet named. Jim Taylor, KCBS. Police in Oakland say one person died and four others were wounded in shootings Friday in the city. The fatal shooting was reported around 8.45 Friday night on International Boulevard. It, uh, police responding found two shooting victims, a man and a woman. The man died at the scene. The woman was taken to a hospital in stable condition. About 15 minutes after that, two more Oakland residents, a man and a woman, were wounded in the 1900 block of 42nd Avenue. According to a preliminary police investigation, those victims were shot after they interrupt, interrupted somebody trying to steal a catalytic converter. And around midnight, someone was wounded in a shooting along the same stretch of International Boulevard where the fatal shooting had occurred a little more than three hours earlier. Oakland police have not said whether those two shootings were related. A Petaluma man was arrested Sunday for alleged drunk driving after crashing his car into a tree. But Petaluma police say officers and first responders with the fire department responded around 5.20 in the morning to the intersection of Eli Boulevard and South and Casa Grande Road where a gray sedan had run into a redwood tree at a roundabout in the intersection. The vehicle had significant damage and a female passenger remained inside but the driver had fled on foot according to a witness. Police later arrested the suspected driver, 48-year-old Daniel Bagley, at his home. We go now to the KCBS Money Desk and Larry Kofsky. Pilots at Delta Airlines have voted almost unanimously to authorize a strike. While a walkout is not imminent, the vote allows union leaders to call for a work stoppage once they complete the steps set by labor law. Contract talks are ongoing. The travel business looks pretty good to Avis budget. The rental car company says its revenue in the third quarter topped the record set in the second quarter. COVID-19 is still with us, but many of us are acting like it's not. So much so that Clorox bet that we keep stocking up on its cleaning products hasn't panned out. Sales in the year ended in June fell 3% from a year ago. October was the best month for the Dow since 1976, even though the market ended the month with a down session. Investors are nervous ahead of a two-day Fed meeting, which starts tomorrow. Dow Industrials tumbled 129, the S&P 500 fell 29, and the Nasdaq lost 114. Larry Kofsky, Bloomberg Business for KCBS. The following is a paid commercial announcement. Were you abused by a priest or clergy member? You're not alone, and we can help you hold the church accountable, regardless of your age, and even if your abuser is no longer working or even living. Thousands of victims have filed claims and been awarded significant compensation, but the deadline is quickly approaching, so call Stop Clergy Abuse right now. Your call is free, private, and confidential. Even if you don't remember the abuser's name, we may be able to help, but time is limited, so call now. Catholic Diocese have paid more than $3 billion to victims, with the average national settlement at $268,000. In parts of California, the settlements are much higher. Call 855-43-ABUSE now, or soon you may forever lose your chance to file a claim. You can't change the past, 
but you can be compensated for it. Call 855-43-ABUSE. A representative is standing by to help. Call 855-43-ABUSE. That's 855-43-ABUSE. Do you have neuropathy? Are you experiencing numbness, tingling, and pain that just won't stop? Are you taking dangerous drugs that have serious side effects and never fix the pain? If so, please listen to this message. Neuropathy is a serious, progressive condition that only gets worse if not treated properly. Call SF Bay Wellness at 844-94-NERVE to get back to doing the things you want to do. There is no drug, exercise, or surgery that can heal nerves. Don't wait until your condition gets worse and stops you from living your life fully. SF Bay Wellness has a time-tested, proven track record of helping hundreds of patients to improve and reverse their neuropathy. If you're ready to regain your independence, contact SF Bay Wellness at 844-94-NERVE. Call now for your $99 neuropathy special and receive a personal treatment plan that is tailored to your needs. Call 844-94-NERVE. That's 844-94-NERVE and start to enjoy life again. It's Chevy truck season, and Chevy offers a full lineup of trucks and accessories, which means it's the perfect time to find the truck for you and make it your own. Make your Silverado bolder with a sport bar and bed lighter. Make your Colorado brighter with perimeter bed lighting. And make your Silverado HD more secure with a tonneau cover. So whether you want added capability or to add your own style, your Chevy dealer can help you find the right Chevy truck and accessories for you to make the most out of truck season. With a $1,000 accessory allowance for the purchase or lease of a new Chevy truck with eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Must take new retail delivery of a 2022-2023 Silverado 1500 or Silverado HD or a 2022 Colorado with eligible GM or associated accessories by 1031-22. Accessory purchase must be equal to or more than 1,000 MSRP. Excludes tax and installation not available with some other offers. Let's get a traffic update. Here's Carolyn Burns. And we head off to that Oakland area, northbound 880 before 66th Avenue is where this actually is. It was an accident involving a pickup truck and a car. Everything's on the shoulder, but CHP has been running a traffic break from 98th Avenue. They're moving that car off to 66th. Now you're seeing traffic that is just a little bit slow from Hagenberger. And in Antioch, eastbound 4 on the Somersville Road off-ramp, a two-car crash there has been cleared. No problems to report. Your next traffic update is at 1138 on the traffic lead. KCBS. Rain should start up in the Bay Area sometime after midnight. Overnight lows, upper 40s to mid 50s. Showers for your Tuesday, cool and a bit breezy, especially at the coast. Highs, upper 50s to low 60s. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. California, you deserve more. And with United Healthcare, you'll get more. Annual enrollment is October 15th through December 7th. So call United Healthcare today. With the United Healthcare Medicare Advantage Plan, you get more from your Medicare dollar. Now including better than ever dental, vision, over the counter, and prescription drug coverage. Call United Healthcare at 1 888 Call UHC today and speak with a licensed sales agent. Benefits, features, and or devices vary by plan and area. Limitations and exclusions apply. News that matters to you around the bay, around the world, around the clock. All news 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. It's Monday, October 31st. Coming up on KCBS, charges have been filed against the man accused of attacking Nancy Pelosi's husband. Also, I'm Keith Manconi. San Mateo City politics heating up as sign stealing accusations swirl ahead of the upcoming election. And the latest on grain from Ukraine. The time, 1131. CBS News Brief, at least 14 people have been wounded in a drive-by shooting in Chicago. Police Superintendent David Brown. It begins and then it's over about three seconds. The car is pulling out after driving by and shooting uh, randomly really into the crowd. Charges have been announced against the man prosecutors say attacked the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, San Francisco DA Brooke Jenkins. Attempted murder, residential burglary, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, false imprisonment of an elder, as well as threats to a public official 
and their family. Paul Pelosi underwent surgery for a fractured skull. The death toll from the stampede in Seoul, South Korea on Saturday has now risen to 156. More from CBS's Elizabeth Palmer. Most of the victims were in their 20s, including two American students, Andy Skeet from the University of Kentucky and Stephen Blessing from Georgia.